So in this video, we'll talk about final keyword. Now we can use final keyword with at three places. We can use final keyword with variables. We can use final keyword with methods or we can use final keyword with class. So let's try to do it one by one. We'll see it with variables. We'll see it with uh, methods and then we'll see it with a class. So let's start with the first one, which is a variable. So let's say if I have, so we have a class here, which is class A in which I have created a constructor, which is doing nothing here. And then I'm creating the object of A, of course it will call the constructor, right? So if I create a variable which is i and the initial value of i is let's say 0 and as soon as I create the object I want to change the value of i to 10 so I can say i equal to 10 right. Now since i is a variable here because whenever you say i I mean whenever you say a data type and something that's a variable right and we are allowed to change the value so I'm changing the value of i from 0 to 10 and that's working perfectly and if I try to print the value of it if I say obj dot i and it will print the value which is 10 of course because we are changing the value of it right so as soon as we create the object we are changing the value of i to 10 and that's why we are getting the output as 10 but how about if i make this variable as final now as soon as you make a variable final you can see we are not we, we are not allowed to change the value of it it is giving you some error here and if i go to that error it says the final field which is a.i cannot be assigned because once you make a variable final you cannot change the value of it Okay, so that means if you if you make a variable final, it becomes a constant. Okay, so I mean, why, why to use constant? Because there are certain scenarios that you want to create a variable whose value should not change. Example, when, let's say when you talk about a value of pi. I mean, we don't change the value of pi, right? Let's say you want to find the area of a circle. Now your radius will change. Based on your radius, it, it will change your circumference. But value of pi will not change, right? So in your code, what you will do is you will make your value pi constant. So if you want to make a constant, we'll be using final. And we have said in the naming convention video that uh, when, you, when you talk about a constant, it should have all capital letters. So let's say if, if this is a constant here, let's say this constant is my a date or a day. So we'll say this is a day, right? A day. I want, I want to say, I want to make a day as constant so I will make it as day equal to zero and even this will be day and this will be day so we, we use a capital letters for constants but again the thing is once you assign the value you cannot change it right but how about if I if I change the value okay I mean if I don't assign the value here I can assign the value in constructor also so once you assign the value then it becomes constant example if I again try to assign a value here which is let's say 19 uh, now it will give you error because yeah now it will give you error because once you assign the value to a constant you cannot change it okay so that's the that's the use of final keyword with the with variable so once we create a final variable it becomes a constant now can i use final final with a method let's try let's try to do that so let me remove all this stuff so what i will do here is i will create a class i will create a class okay be, before that we'll see with class Okay, can I can I use a final with a class? First of all, why would we create a class final? It's because let's say in this class, okay, we don't have a constructor. Let's let's not take a constructor here. Let me remove this constructor also. So any class can extend your class, right? So let's say this you have created this class way back, and then someone else is trying to extend your class. So when you extend a class, let's say if you extend a class, and in this class we have a function which is our method, which is public void show. So you are providing this feature which is show feature right because this, this is your class A is your class and in your class you have a method which is show and you are printing in show. So anyone can extend your class anyone can create a class B which extends your class and they will take all the credits right because if I create object of B now B object can call show and as a user you will think okay uh, I'm, I'm getting this show method from B but that's not the case you are getting show method from A. So B is taking all the credits here. So and there are, there are certain scenarios where you don't want your class to be extended. So you can make your classes final because as soon as you make your classes final, you can see it is giving you an error now. You cannot, and any other class cannot extend your class. So the reason why we create a final class is so that no other class can extend your class. So we can make a class final also. But let's say, okay, so uh, point to remember, we can use a final with variable which make it constant. You can use final with a class which will make it uh, non-inheritable. And if I remove that, let's say I want I want other class to extend my class. 
But what the other class is doing is, other class is creating the, its own method called a show and they are overriding my method, let's say in, in B show. So they are trying to override my method and that's, I mean, initially it was okay, they are using my method which prints in A show, that's okay. But now they are overriding my method, right, which is wrong because if I call show now, it will call in B show, right. They are taking all my credits again. So I don't want anyone to override my my method so I can make it as final because if I make a method final no one else can override my method you can see that it is giving you an error that cannot override the final method here so yeah that's it so that's conclusion one uh, you can use final with variable you can use final with uh, method and you can use final with a uh, class so when you use a final with variable it becomes a constant when you use a final with a method no one can override it and when you use a final with class no one can extend it so that's it that's it from this video we have talked about final thank you so much